so this is the dark box I just built to go uh, on location shooting wet plate collodion. It's um, 24 by 34 uh, dimension wise and here it's about it's five and a half inches deep. Uh, this lid is an uh, oh, inch and a quarter inch lip there and the rest is four and a half, four and a quarter inches. Um, big plexi window that I actually haven't tried to see if it's going to be uh, dark enough, but it seems like it will be um, just when I've had this open in my basement. That window is 12 by 20 and then trimmed out uh, with just some half inch or quarter inch, uh, quarter inch trim, one and a half inch by quarter inch trim boards. Down in the corners here, I have um, these little support brackets to lock into place to keep it open. And then on the bottom of the box, there are these little, uh, these are one and a quarter inch uh, height uh, to match the lid so it levels out. And they're just like two inch by three inch blocks uh, that I mitered the edges off of. Um, that's what that part looks like. The uh, the sheet is like a vinyl blackout fabric. Um, it's white, pure white on one side, very smooth and sort of has like a material embedded in it on the other side. Uh, there's two pieces of that um, from a Joanne Fabric store, five inches by, sorry, not five inches, five feet by seven and a half feet sewn together just to sort of create a big curtain that hangs over top of this thing. Um, up in the corner here, um, you can already see it's starting to get scratched up, but up in the corner here, uh, I have one and a half inch uh, PVC and uh, just little pipe clamps to put everything in. If I can do this with one hand. These... These, clam, uh, these extensions are, I don't know, 30 inches. I don't think I measured them. I think I just kind of guessed. Um, they come out almost to the front of the, the side. And then at the bottom here, then what you end up with is this 34 inch by 22 inch workspace um, you know, that, that holds a tray pretty well in pack of paper towel. This back inch being four and a half inches wide is wider than all of the bottles I'm currently using, so my bottles can sit up on here as a shelf um, when I'm actually making plates. And, uh, and it's got a couple clips up on top so it all can stay closed. Um, not sure exactly what I'll transport inside of it yet, probably the trays and of course the, the trays and the cover, uh, the PVC arms. Um, you know, whatever we need, paper towels, that kind of stuff. And then the uh, the curtain, I'll actually show you here in a second, I'll have to stop. Right now I'm just clipping the curtain in place around the top and the sides. So let me, uh, let me stop for a second and put the curtain on and I'll be right back. So inside, um, you know, clipped up. We'll have to watch and see what that light is like from the uh, from the hinge. Um, <clears throat> and then I have to pull it up, you know, just to my waist to close everything else in. So, I actually haven't tried to use it yet. So this whole thing could be false advertising. But uh, I guess I'm gonna go try and use it and make a plate of something. Get a little dirty. I'm supposed to go on location for some shoots uh, for a plate on a week from today, actually, so needed to work. So I just poured and shot a plate inside of here for the first time. So uh, here it is in the developer. And got a little tray here. Woo. Windy, feels good. Get this tray here. And we'll grab the fixer. I'm showing you my bottle of water. Put that in there. Put this in here. It's a really crummy tray that I put a big thumbprint on because I was trying some 
reusable gloves that uh, were pretty damn bulky. Huh. Pretty happy with all that. So, uh, that is the first plate. The first plate in the portable dark box. I don't see really any fogging from light. Um, I think if I did that again with a six second exposure, I'd be pretty happy with how things look. So I just may try that since I got everything here and set up. And uh, what happens to your water, your developer wash in the sun? Nice and black. All right, I'm gonna rinse this plate off a bunch of times. And try again. This is plate two out of my portable uh, dark box setup. Um, I, the first plate I actually did was just a test plate, two, four, six, eight seconds. Went back, I shot this one at five seconds. I was a little concerned about um, some of the light leaks that I have. This curtain's not quite as long as I would like it to be, so it doesn't drape down. It doesn't really drape down over the edges here as far as I wanted it to. Um, but uh, it seems to be dark enough, and it's it's high noon. Um, right now, I don't even have a light, like a headlamp or anything in here. It's just all the red, uh, the red light being filtered by the window. Um, so I'm really, really pleased to see like no fogging on this image, and uh, gonna put some fresh water in here to rinse it off some more. Um, so, there you go, a little more rinse. Feeling pretty confident about uh, taking this show on the road next Wednesday for a maternity portrait session I have. Um, there you go. Whew, it is hot in there though, I'll tell you that. Especially with an apron on and all that dark curtain over you. But uh, pretty happy. Dark box. Plate one. Successfully in the books. I'm going to go clean this up because uh, I'm actually on my lunch hour from my other job. So I got to get back to work. Later.